Number 14, you are to make four straight line moves over a flat desert floor, starting at the origin of an XY coordinate system and ending at the XY coordinate. So let's write this coordinate, let's call it our vector E, which is equal to minus 140 plus uh, in the I direction, plus 30 in the J direction, and this is in meters. The x component and y component of your moves are the following respectively in meters. So let's call this one our vector a. Vector a is equal to 20 in the i direction plus 60 in the j direction. It is in meters. This is our vector b. Vector b is equal to bx in the i direction minus 70 in the j direction it is also in meters vector c is this one which is equal to minus 20 in the i direction plus cy in, in the j direction in meters and vector d is this one vector d is equal to minus 60 in the i direction minus 70 in the j direction in in meters so letter a what are the bx and cy components so we have to find this value over here and this value over here and then we have to find the magnitude and the angle relative to the positive direction of the x-axis of the overall displacement so let us first find bx and cy. So what we can notice from, from problem 14 is that vector e is equal to the sum of vector a plus vector b plus vector c plus vector d. And we can notice from this equation that the x component of vector e is equal to the x component of vector a plus the x component of vector b plus the x component of vector c plus the x component of vector d and the y component of vector e is equal to the y component of vector a plus the y component of vector b plus the y component of vector c plus the y component of vector d so we are going to work with those two different equations so let's start from the first one so EX, uh, uh, EX is equal to minus 140. AX is equal to 20. BX is just BX. CX is equal to minus 20. And D is equal to minus 60. So let's cross this out. Let's send this to the other side so we are going to isolate bx and then we find this is equal to 80 meters so this is the answer of letter a for letter b we want to find cy and we are going to use this equation over here so ey is equal to 30 ay is equal to 60 by is equal to minus 70 cy is just cy and the y component of vector d is minus 70 so we want to isolate cy so cy is equal to let's see minus 30 plus 140 which is equal to 110 meters so CY is equal to 110 meters. So this is the answer of letter B. For letter D, we want the magnitude of the displacement. So we have to do the magnitude of vector E, which is just, just the square root of each coordinate squared. So it's minus 140 squared plus 30 squared and this gives us roughly 143 meters so this is the answer of letter c for letter d we want to find the angle of the displacement so let us draw our coordinate system over here let's say this is x and this is y 
so this vector over here would be something like this right so this would be our vector e and we want to find this angle over here so this is the angle that we want to find the angle is the inverse function of tangent of the y component of the e vector over the x component of the e vector so this is tangent so the minus one of minus 140 over 30 and this gives us two different answers no this is sorry the opposite this is 30 over minus 140 so now this is correct and this gives us two different answers this gives us let's see gives us minus 12 degrees and plus 168 degrees and then we have to choose which one is the correct one so we have to see from the quadrant of the answers so this is our vector over here this angle minus 12 is this angle over here so it is in the fourth quadrant and our vector is in the second quadrant which is the same as this angle over here. So the correct answer is 168 degrees.